truth or dare. Excuse me? Truth or dare. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? That thing is still out there, Bryce. Okay, I'm well aware of that, but... We're gonna be here until morning, and I don't think that sitting around here doing nothing is really helping out, okay? So, I think a distraction would be good. They're not wrong. I guess, but still. Unless you'd rather listen to the calming sounds of the forest. They're right. Let's just play. Yeah, okay. Chloe, truth or dare? Uh, uh, what? Truth or dare? Oh, um, truth. Oh, I've got one, I've no, got one. No, you fucking don't. Excuse me, bitch. Don't, don't act surprised. It's not happening. I got one. Is it true you never went to any parties in high school because you were too busy doing homework for Jen and Kylie? Hell yeah. Oh, does the question make you angry or is it me bringing up Kylie? Because you can feel free to walk back to the tents if you don't like either one. Well, Chloe? Not all the time. Just when they were struggling a little bit or for a really important party, it just, it, it made things simpler. I, I offered. I was never struggling. Well... I mean, sure, but it was the cost of entry, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't like that. It, it, it wasn't a big deal. I was, I was happy to help, and besides, I didn't really like going to the parties anyways. I mean... Did you get to go to many of the fun ones, though? It kind of feels like you mostly frequented the B-list parties. I always got too drunk anyways, so I barely even remember them, if I'm being honest. And there's no point in going if you're not going to make any memories, right? Exactly. It was her decision. You're acting like I forced her. I mean, you guys would get on her ass if she wasn't studying and everything, you know. Do your mean girl stare, get all cold. I do not remember that at all. All right, I'll go next. Truth. Uh, do you remember Ryan Patek? He uh, dated Kylie for a few months. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. Uh, well, she started showing up with like bruises on her arms and stuff. And then like a little bit after that, he kind of skipped town. And whenever I asked her about it, she was always kind of like dodging my questions. So like, I guess I've always kind of wondered if you did anything to him. I broke his nose and three of his ribs. And Kylie knew about it? He sent her a text about it afterwards. You left for a few weeks to visit your big sister after that, didn't you? Yeah, Kylie didn't really appreciate me interfering. Some things were said, so it was better if I wasn't there. Damn. That's crazy. I'll go next, I guess. Truth again. Okay, since you can't run from this, I've got one that's really been bugging me. Did you fuck Stacy Kingston last month? <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, straight for the junk you lure. Mm. What? Where'd you even hear that? From her, actually. Thought she was full of shit initially, but it's been on my mind, so I thought in the spirit of healthy communication, I'd just ask. Did. You. Fuck her. Well, no. I didn't. Why would you even think that would be true? Fuck. Jen. I wouldn't cheat on you. Well, you cheated on Kylie, so there is a pattern. I never cheated on Kylie. Sure you didn't. That's why you and Jen went out to that concert and spent the weekend together while you were still dating Kylie. Right? Fuck off. I didn't cheat on her. And I didn't cheat on you either. Well, really shows how much you trust me, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I have trust issues with a guy who won't even kiss me in front of his friends. Jesus Christ, what is with you? Nothing, Desmond. Absolutely nothing. Right now? Are you serious? Jesus, somebody else go. Alright, I'll go. Dare. You need to walk to the car. <laughs> You're funny. No. All right. You need to walk ten paces away from the fire. That's even funnier. No thanks. 
Okay, sweet. Is it true you raped Amber Murray at Greg and Tiff's New Year's party? Whoa. Jesus, Ian. Excuse me? You heard me. I mean, girls don't usually make allegations about guys at their school that they don't even really know. So, I'm just curious. I want to hear what actually happened. Because you told everybody she was lying. She was lying. You literally just said it. So what'll it be, Lance? Truth or dare? I just want to say, you're going to go with the truth one on this. I didn't do anything. Nothing you could consider wrong or illegal under any circumstances. So why'd you say that about you? Because she's a fucking lying whore. What do you want me to say about it? Listen, all that happened is, is that she wanted to suck my dick. Listen, I'm, you know, I don't want to get, you know, rude in front of the ladies here and all that, but she wanted to. She wanted her lips around my cock, and I had to simply say no, because she had braces, okay? Listen, normally I would do it, but she would have fucking sliced my dick. I didn't need to be circumcised again, and I would have bled, okay? So that's all that there was to it. Nothing else happened. End of story, okay? The Christian girl who spent all day at school, every day, fawning over Troy Barker, propositioned you at her best friend's party, and then spread a rumor about you locking her in a guest room? I mean, I mean it makes enough sense to me. And listen, for fuck's sakes, why are you more inclined to believe the word of some whore, some stupid bitch, than me? I mean, shit, we've known each other since we were kids, Ian. Yeah, that's why I know about the other rumors about you. What other rumors? <laughs> Lexi, Rachel, Fran, Megan, Trish, Laura, they all lying about you too? Jesus, Ian. Fuck off, Ian, don't push your luck. Oh, what, you want your pound of flesh? Fine, dare. Come on, guys, we're supposed to be staying calm and safe here. Walk 10 paces out of the fire. Ian, wait. Stop it. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Fucking calm down. I'll go next. I've got a question. Did you sell to Kylie the night she died? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Toxicology said that she had a lot of drugs in her system that night. Basically everything she bought from you. Did you sell to her that night? Um... I... Bryce, did you? There. Yeah, I knew it. She was already drunk too, wasn't she? Yeah, how much did you sell her? How much did you charge? She wasn't already thinking straight. I said dare, Desmond. That's the fucking game. Fine, I dare you to walk 15 paces. Bryce, you don't have to do this. Yeah, I do, Chloe. Guys, we're, we're not in the right state of mind to be doing this. We, we should just stop the game. Well, you're the one who brought up Kylie. Now we have to deal with it. Des, your turn again. Why, Ian? Why not? Truth. I guess we know what the dares are going to be from now on. Where'd you go when you left Mark's house? When? What are you talking about? The night of the Chaplin versus Hoyle match. We'd been planning on watching it at Mark's house for weeks in advance. You booked the night off specifically to be there. And then you disappear, barely halfway into the match. Where'd you go? 
I went to get my brother after his car broke down. And trust me, I gave him a lot of shit for it. I mean, it's just odd, isn't it? Like, you disappear the night Kylie dies and you're not back for two hours? Darren needed me. What, did, what exactly are you insinuating, Ian? I'm saying that Mark got a text from Darren not long after you left. He was watching the fight at his girlfriend's house, apparently. Sent a picture and everything, complaining about her shitty TV. I... What's your game here? Where were you? There. Now that's an interesting pivot. Desmond, don't be stupid. How many paces? Twenty. All right, let's stop. This is getting so stupid. No, Jen, I have a question. What did you say to Kylie? Please stop talking about her. Jen, you were one of the last people to see her. Morgan said you guys were arguing about something outside. That was the last time you saw Kylie. What did I say to her? It's such a fucked up way to ask that. Please, I just want to know what's happened. Like, I'm not accusing you of anything. She was drunk. You know how she treated me when she was drunk? I couldn't stay. What were you arguing about? It wasn't even an argument. She was just doing what she usually did when she was hammered. Saying some fucked up stuff. Was she confused? She was out of her mind on drugs like she was at all the parties near the end. And you didn't stay with her? Fuck you, Chloe. You see, this is why I didn't want to tell you guys. How was I supposed to know that this was going to be the one time she hurt herself, okay? I know you're all thinking, but what would have, what would have happened if I'd been more patient with her, stayed with her, and I think about it constantly, trust me. What were you arguing about? She was accusing me of stealing Desmond or something. I don't know why. Come on, bro. We both know that you two were fucking... Let's get over ourselves here. Don't start with this bullshit, Lance. Why do you want to know any of this anyway? How does knowing that I fought with Kylie before she died change anything? Nobody blames you, Jen. Actually, Chloe, I've got a question for you. What is it, Jen? Did you hear her texts? Uh, what? I know she texted you asking for a ride earlier that night. And I know she tried to call you. And I know it rang through. You, the girl who's too scared to silence her phone anywhere other than a movie theater, didn't answer a single text from her that night. Why? I was studying for a test. I... So you did hear it. And you just let it ring through? Knowing that you were the one person she trusted to come get her whenever she needed you. There. Really? You don't have to, Chloe. Eh, no, it's only fair. The party was what, 30 minutes from your apartment? So, 30 paces. Only fair? Jen, you didn't let anyone dare you. Because I answered my question. <laughs> you didn't answer any of the questions. What are you fucking talking about? Are you sure? Then don't go.
This is Ranger Herbert. Is anyone there? again. So we're airing things out, I guess. Ian? Yes, Desmond. Where were you that night when that guy broke into Kylie's house and nearly beat her to death? Study hall with Dennis. Really? Because Dennis told me that you paid him to tell people that he was with you. So where were you really? Dare. Thanks for confirming my suspicion. Do you know how much Kylie was on nightly just so she could sleep? Even after the pain was gone for the PTSD? Do you know how much she was on the night she died? Her tolerance must have been insane. How many? Forty. Watch your step out there. Okay, I think it's about time everyone calms down. Where were you in all of this? You knew how fucked up she was. Why leave her? I never left her. I mean, we're all kind of surprised that you just left her at the party, man. I mean, like, you're basically the only person here who was really, truly obligated to take care of her. I mean, like, you, you, the two of you knew each other since you were in kindergarten. Like, you were basically family, and you just left her there at the party. You didn't even call her a taxi or anything. She wouldn't have listened to me. Well, listen, buddy, I don't think that you even needed to do anything too forceful to get her to go. I mean, she was so fucking wasted at that point, you could have just let her by her arm, and she would have done anything you asked. Leaning your way, Lance. The guest bedroom? Yeah, Aaron West said he walked in on you two. Both had your pants around your ankles. He pulled it out of there pretty quick, he said. She was barely conscious when he checked on her. Listen, who in the fuck is Aaron West? All right? We all know she turned you down in the past. Truth, Lance, was that night the opportunity you had to finally add her to your list? And what number would she have been of the ones who didn't want it? 15? 20? Listen, well, just rumors, rumors. Guys, come on, come on, we all know, just rumors. But seriously though, who the fuck is Aaron West? This isn't funny, okay? Do you know how badly that night fucked her up? She told me about it afterwards and she didn't tell anyone else because she couldn't believe in her memories and because she wanted to believe in you. And then after that, she started hitting the drugs harder than ever. You know all about that, huh? All right, look, okay? All of it's the fucking rumors and everything, they're just fucking bullshit, okay? Let me put it to you this way. One whore says something. There's a bunch of other ones, all these little fucking sluts, and they think it's funny to try and ruin a guy's life just because he's living his life being the way he is, okay? It's all fucking bullshit, and none of you should believe it. It's not true. None of it is. Okay. Okay. How many paces? Fifty. Lance, stay here.
Lance, are you okay? Lance, can you hear me? Lance, can you hear me? What are you doing? He could be hurt. And you of all people shouldn't care, Chloe. I don't want anyone to get hurt, Ian. So let one of his rich friends go check on him. Fuck that, I'm not getting mauled for him. Frankly, I don't think Chloe should either. Lance? Ah! Lance, Jesus! Oh, fuck me, that was funny. <laughs> you can judge me all you want for that, but you fuckers deserve that. And by the way, I heard what you said, Jen. Some friends you are. I have to sit here. <laughs>